Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, our goal is to do a long division problem in base five. Before we do that though, let's go ahead and work a long division problem in our familiar base 10 number system, just to remind you the mechanics of long division. So let's suppose we were dividing 31 into 4,509. We would focus on dividing the 31 into the 45 first. 31 only goes into 45 one time. So the procedure would be to write a one above the last digit of the 45, and we would multiply, subtract, and bring down. One times 31 is 31. Subtracting 31 from 45 gives us 14, and then we would bring down the zero. Next, we would estimate how many times 31 goes into 140. Well, 30 goes into 150 about five times, and 30 times four is 120, so I'm guessing that four is probably um, the number we're looking for. 4 times 31 is going to be 4 times 1, which is 4, and then 4 times 3, which is 12. That's the multiplication. Now we subtract. Um, borrowing from the 4, we have 10 minus 4 is 6. 3 minus 2 is 1. So now we bring down the final digit, which is a 9. We want to know how many times does 31 go into 169? Well, 30 times 5 would be 150, and 30 times 6 would be 180. So I'm thinking 6 would be too much. I'm going to multiply by 5. 5 times 31, you do 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 3 is 15. And then we're going to subtract and that's going to be nine minus five is four, six minus five is one. Since we've run out of digits, this is our remainder. So what we just found is that 4,509 divided by 31 is equal to 145 with a remainder of 14. All right, so that's base 10 long division. And you'll notice since we had to multiply, subtract, and bring down, that involved two operations, multiplication and subtraction, in order to accomplish the division. In order to do long division in base five, we have to be prepared to multiply and subtract. To help us with this, if you're going to work in base five, it's a good idea to remind yourself how to count in base five, uh, make a, yourself a little addition table, and make yourself a little multiplication table to get started. We go over how we got these tables in the previous video in part one. And now we're going to try to divide 3303 base 5 divided by 23 base 5. Okay, so let's start with 23, but 23 goes into 33, I'm guessing one time. Let's take a look at multiplying 23 base 5 times 1 in base 5. So remember using our multiplication table over here, 1 times 3 is 3 and one times two is two. So we still have two, three in base five. Whereas if I multiply two, three base five by two in base five, let's see what happens. According to our multiplication table, two times three in base five, remember there is no six in base five. So we use one, one to represent a six. So we would have one, and just like in our traditional uh, multiplic long multiplication algorithm, we would carry the one, even though it's base five. And then we would would say 2 times 2 is 4 in base 5 plus 1. Well, 1 more than 4 in base 5 is 1, 0. So we're going to write 1, 0 in base 5. So definitely 2, 3 going into 3, 3 once is as many times as we can go in base 5. So 1 times 2, 3 we decided was 2, 3. Now we have to subtract. All right, so three take away three is still zero in base five. And this is demonstrated in our counting table over here. If you start at three and go uh, backwards by three units, you get to zero just as you would in base 10. And three take away two is still one in base five. So we've multiplied, subtracted, and now we need to bring down the next digit. 
Now, one zero zero in base five is not the same as a hundred as you would expect in base 10. So let's think about how many times two three would go into a hundred. Well, we already found that two three times one is two three and two three times two is one zero one, which is too big. So it actually only goes in once again. One times two three is two three and now we're going to subtract. Now, just like in base 10, when you have zeros, you have to borrow. But when you borrow from one zero, when you borrow one from one zero, it goes down not to nine, but to four in base five. So we borrow from the one zero, it leaves behind a four. We carry that one over. So we have one zero, and we're taking away three from it. So one zero, take away one, two, three, brings us back to two. It's just like subtracting three from five in our uh, base 10 number system. And then four take away two is also two. So we've multiplied, we've subtracted, and now we need to bring down the next digit. So now we need to see how many times does two, three go into two, two, three. Well, we know that two, three times two is 101. Let's see what two, three times three would be. So we're still in base five. So three times three in base five, looking at our multiplication table, three times three in base five is one, four. So we would put a four, carry the one. Three times two in base five is one, one, looking at our table. So, but you have to add one to that, so that's gonna give us one, two. So we have one, two, four in base five. Let's see, now that's, that's a little bit closer to two, two, three. Let's see if multiplying by four takes us too close or not. So we're gonna do two, three, base five times four four in base five. Four times three in base five, looking at your, referencing your multiplication table, four times three is two, two. So we're gonna put a two down and a carry a two up top. Four times two in base five is one, three, but we're adding two to that one. Now to add two to one, three brings us all the way up to two, zero. So we're gonna have two, zero, two. Now four is the greatest digit before we roll over to two digits. So four, that must be the biggest, that must be the number of times it goes in unless we messed up on the previous step, which we didn't. So we're going to do four times two, three gives us two, zero, two in base five. And we should end up with something less than 23, in fact, or less than two, three. In fact, we do, right? Because three take away two is one, two take away zero is two, and two, one base five is still less than two, three base five. So what we just found is that three, three, zero, three, divided by two, three, both in base five, is equal to one, one, four base five with a remainder of 21 base five. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video.